In this video, we will learn how to create new component in Angular application. We have created this Hello World application in our previous video. To create a new component, open the terminal window. Here, use this command ng g for generate c for component, then component name, let's say home, then press enter. It has created four new files and it has updated app module file. Open the app folder. Inside this, we have home folder. Inside this, we have home component CSS file, then HTML file, then spec file, then we have component file. By default, if you create a new component, it will add all these four files. Let's see how we can create new component without this spec file. For that, we can use this command ng gc, then component name login, then use this option dash dash skip test set this value as true then press enter you can use this command or you can directly delete this file by right click and choose delete it will delete the file from the folder see here it has created three files and it has updated app module file now let's see the changes open this app module.ts file See here, in the declaration, it has added new two components and we are importing those components here. Now, I want to create a new component inside this login folder. For that, we can use this command ng gc and then folder name login, then component name logout, then press enter. You can see here, this time we have new component inside this login folder. Now, I want to create new component with different path. And for this, use this command ngGC and then let's say path1 and then path2, then component name, uh, let's say comp1, press enter. See here. We have new folder path 1. Inside this, we have one more folder path 2. Inside this, we have one more folder comp 1. Inside this, we have all these files. This is how we can create new component at any place. We have added new component in this application. We are getting its name in the declaration of app module.ts file. Whenever we are creating a new component, uh, a new folder will be created with that component name. Inside that folder, all these files are created. Now, I want to create a new component without new folder. For that, use this command ng gc and then component name, let's say sign up and use this option dash dash flat. Then press enter. This option is used to create a new component without the folder. See here in the app folder at the root level, we have created this sign up component. Okay. There are a lot of other options uh, that we can use in our ng generate component. To learn all of them, let's go to the browser here, search for Anglo CLI, open the first link, here we have lots of commands, now we are working with ng-generate, so click this one, so see the command ng-generate and what we are going to generate, using this command we will create uh, app cell application class component and etc so we can create these things using this ng generate now now we are uh, learning about component so click this one see the command here ng generate and then component and then component name here instead of component we can use the shortcut c Remember, uh, the component name should be string type. Here we have some options. Some of the options are unknown to you. 
uh, at the end of this tutorial you will learn these things change detection dash dash export and dash dash flat uh, this is the command we are using now create the new files at the top level of the current project let's say uh, if you are having multiple modules in your application by default the immediate parent module of the component will be used as the module for that component in case if you are having multiple modules at the same level you are generating new component then you can define the parent module by using this dash dash module equal name of the uh, name of your module okay then we can also use dash dash prefix um, dash dash skip test if you pass true value to this option it will not create a spec.ts file for the new component so we have to pass boolean value for this option then we can use dash dash style if you want to generate um, css scss scss and etc you can pass the things over here by default css is selected like this you can learn lots of things from this angular official website now so far we have created lots of components in this application now let's run this application using this command ng serve dash o this application is working fine we are getting this from app component dot html file okay why this component only working because in the app module file app component is the bootstrap component now i want to use this home component for that let's open home component this is a simple class um, it is implementing on init method so let's remove it as of now uh, we don't need remove this constructor and ng on init method also remove this on init from this import import is like a namespace in the uh, at the rate component decorator we have three important things first one is selector we are having multiple components in this application how we can identify a single component okay. using this app home we can use this component anywhere in this application this will work as an html tag then we have template url the template that we are using in the particular component it is at this particular path now let's see the definition of this component so right click choose go to definition see here this is an interface and it is extends directive scroll down um, here we have lots of things view providers and uh, module id you can see here we are using template url and template as of now in our application we are having this template url we can use template also now go to home component so in the decorator here we can have more than three properties or less than three properties it is also based on the need of your application now i want to use this home component in some other place so copy this app home and go to app component dot html file here paste it save the changes let's see in the browser this message is coming from home component and this message is coming from um, app component now let's understand how this app component is working okay let's open this app component see the selector app root we are using this app root in index.html file if you want to use your own component as a bootstrap component first you have to make changes in app module file okay here in the bootstrap then um, you have to use the selector of this component in the index.html file 
then only it will work as bootstrap component. Now let's see the simple use of this component. So copy this and paste it multiple times. Save the changes. Go back to the browser. We are getting the same message multiple times. It means if you are having some complex logic in one component, you can reuse it multiple times anywhere in the application. The same thing is applicable for other components. Now go back to Visual Studio. Let's open this login component. Copy this selector. It's not necessary to write everything in app component.html file. You can use it in anywhere as per the need of your application. Now in this app component.html file, paste it and save the changes in the browser. We are having this message. Uh, that is coming from login component. Now we can use this um, login component inside the own component. So here paste it. Okay. Now I want to update this message. Let's say hello from home save the changes go back to the browser see you this first two line um, is coming from home component and this lost login works is coming from login component. Here we are using the login component as a child component in home component. This is how we can use our components multiple times in Angular application. Thanks for watching this video. See you there in next video.